Steven is a big blue engine on the TO Railway. He loves his job, which is pulling the express from one end of the line to the other. He's done this for many years now, and he's become quite a famous engine. And should he be too tired and in need of a rest, your top of hat would kindly have Kurt or Alex take his place. Today was one of those days, and Stephen was resting peacefully on a siding. Then Kurt left the station with the express. Hey, uh, fat face. Hey, careful there, Kurt. We wouldn't want to revisit your incident with the Lancer now, would we? Kurt just ignored him, smiled, and whistled. Huh. You better not ruin the Silence Express reputation by having an accident. Then Nolan steamed up. What are you talking about? You've had accidents before. I have not. Name one. I'll name two. Your burst safety valve and your damned whistle. Don't those count as accidents? No, indeed, Papa Squat, they are not. Those could happen to anyone, but I'm talking about actually coming off the rails like Kurt did. After Nolan left, Stephen dozed off, but not much later, he awoke to hear his driver in his cab calling. Wake up, Stephen, we're pulling a special train today. Oh, but today's my rest day. Relax, it's not as hard as the Express, it's just a freight train. Freight cars? No way. Count me out. Now stop complaining. Stephen's fire was slow to start up. So Michael came to push him to the turntable. Stephen continued to complain. Michael was getting annoyed. Imagine, a big express engine like you whining like a little baby. Stop complaining and just get ready. It may not be the express, but it's still an important train. Steven then stayed silent. Michael losing his temper is a very rare occasion. They passed the yard where they saw Jackson getting the cars ready for the special. Jackson was ready for mischief. Hey Steven, did you see Kurt with the Express this morning? Woo! Man, look at him go. Maybe he should pull the Express most of the time, that way you can pull freight trains. Steven still said nothing. Finally, they arrived at the turntable. Steven's fire was now burning brightly. And Michael left. For a big engine like Steven, the slightest off balance could jam the turntable. <laughs> And as the turntable turned around, Stephen lurched forward in an attempt to do so. It worked a little too well. Stephen lurched forward too far, came off the table, and fell into a ditch. Damn it! Help! Get me out! I doubt we can. You're stuck. I can't believe you'd go through all this trouble just because you didn't want to pull a freight train. You should be ashamed. And he was. News soon reached Sir Topham Hat. We'll worry about Stephen later. For now, we have to worry about the special. Hmm. Have Michael take it, please. Later that night, Stephen finally got to sleep when... Ah! Alex! Don't touch me there! Calm down, Stephen, we're getting you out. Oh, right. Stephen had forgotten where he was. Using a roadbed of sleepers, combined with the effort of both Kurt and Alex pulling hard, they managed to get Stephen back onto the rails. Stephen rolled slowly back to the shed. He 
was hoping that when he saw Kurt and Nolan tomorrow, the subject of accidents wouldn't come up.